Ever since the Vive XR Elite has launched, there has been a ton of questions about the headset from the community. In this video, I'm gonna answer six community questions about the Vive XR Elite. Let's get started. Shane Pai asks, wait, you won't need corner to corner sensors anymore? That's a really great question. The Vive XR Elite was built to be an all-in-one standalone device, meaning that you don't need base stations for this headset. With four onboard cameras, all of the tracking is done on the device itself with what is known as inside out tracking. And of course you can play all of your favorite PC VR games, but there's also a ton of processing power within the Vive XR Elite and a wide selection of standalone titles on Viveport. This means you can play it anywhere, in your favorite coffee shop, in your bedroom, in the kitchen while you're cooking breakfast, Just kidding, please don't do that. Play some of your favorite games like Half-Life Alex, Beat Saber, VR Chat, Swarm, and so many more. Corvenia Flint asks, is the Vive XR Elite well adjusted to fit any head or will it fly off of my head while I'm dodging bullets? <laughs> what a great question, Corvenia. I can definitely see the concern and I would not want my headset flying off while playing intense VR games. All right, so here's the plan. I'm going to download Swarm off of Viveport. Swarm is a fast-paced arcade-style grapple shooter game with a bright and colorful world. And we're gonna go ahead and test that theory to see, does the headset fly off of my head? Let's check it out. Multiple portals are about to open. Vaporize all the swarm that comes through. I had a lot of fun and I was able to move around pretty freely without any interruptions of the headset flying off my head. Woo! We made it out and it looks like the headset stayed nice and secure on my head the whole time. There are also two additional ways that the headset can stay on your head and we're gonna talk about those now. The headset actually comes with a dial on the back of the battery cradle that you can tighten while you move to the right, righty tighty and lefty loosey to loosen it if you scroll to the left. So this is one really great way to ensure that the headset is fitting nicely on your head so that it won't fly off while playing games. Additionally, one of my favorite pieces that actually ships with the headset is the top strap. You can adjust this to fit your head and move it around for whatever feels comfortable to you to help with extra security with the Vive XR Elite. It provides extra support and removes some of the weight off of your face. And there you have it. No headsets flying off while you're dodging bullets. Hamish Cross asks, Hamish, Hamish, Let's go with Hamish. Couple of questions. I just got my headset and I love it. I'm just trying to sort a few things out. Thank you so much for the kind words, Hamish. We really appreciate you. The first question is, how do you do open brush pass through? And the second question is, how do you record XR in open brush? These are really great questions, Hamish, and I am going to answer both of them. Let's first start with talking about how to record XR footage in the XR Elite headset. The first thing you'll do to record is go down to your settings, navigate to the advanced area, and you'll scroll down until you find the camera settings, open those up, and make sure you select allow pass-through recording and casting on. Make sure the switch is to the right. Next, you will double-click the Vive logo on your right controller, and then you'll click the start record button, which should be the third icon up at the top. Now you should be recording. In order to record an open brush, you will launch the open brush app, look at your left hand, click the environment circle, and click the pass through headset mode. And here's what it looks like when you start drawing and painting in XR mode. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with pass through mode, pass through allows you to be in the headset while playing the game and simultaneously seeing the area around you. Now you should be able to record XR pass through mode with the Vive XR Elite using open brush. Benjamin asks two questions. Question Question number one is, does the Vive XR Elite have its own store for both apps and games? This is a really great question, Benjamin. Let's dive into the headset and find out. There are two ways to access games on the Vive XR Elite. The first way is by navigating to Viveport with the headset by clicking on this button here. You'll have access to over 100 standalone titles with the headset. The second way is by connecting to PC VR with a cable or wirelessly through a Wi-Fi connection. This gives you access to PC VR games purchased through the Viveport desktop app or Steam. Now for question number two is, will the Vive XR Elite play 3D movies natively. First, download the Viveport video app from the Viveport store. Next, load your 3D files into your movie folder on the headset, and then open the app and navigate to your movie. If you have any additional questions about the Vive XR Elite, I encourage you to leave a comment below so that your question has a chance of being answered. For more tips about the Vive XR Elite, consider checking out this video next. Bye!